Yo guys, are welcome to Noob Station. Sit back, relax, and enjoy to play some more Tales of Sisteria. I really hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, and I'll see you in the next one. So the depths of the ruins are just beyond here, huh? Looks like it's sealed off. Damn it, Saray. You need to be more careful out there. Poor Shepard, all alone. How vexing. We're right here, yet he can't hear us. You guys! Saray, are you back to normal now? Oh, thank goodness. I was really freaked out when you guys all suddenly disappeared. So that lion head guy held off. What on earth did he do back there? Haven't you ever thought about what happens when two domains overlap? Which one's blessing would be the most affected? What do you mean? The domain you cast as a shepherd lost to the domain of the one you faced against back there. And that was enough to momentarily paralyze Saray's resonance? It's to be expected. That corrupted domain of his is stronger than that of even a dragon. Heldolf... Is... Is he the Lord of Calamity? It sure looks like it. No one other than the Lord of Calamity could be cloaked in such malevolence. Well, there's got to be some reason. Some story behind why he came to hold such malevolence and power. You got that right. Something like that doesn't just happen naturally. I would not challenge him again without first finding the answer and understanding the truth. Saray! Are you talking to yourself? I... uh... My friends are here with me. Huh? They're, um, Seraphim. Is this a bad time? Should we come back? Lila, think she could hear you if we did the usual trick? Oh, right! Let's try it out! Hey! Just try and focus, Rose. Rose? Can you hear? <laughs> Easy, Rose! Rose, 
<laughs> Please, just calm down. I'm not hearing this! Let go! Let me go, you idiot! Rose, listen! <laughs> <laughs> Guess you really pushed her buttons, Mr. Shepard. Yeah, the boss can't handle that kind of stuff. I... I see. Make yourself at home, Shepard. Just give a holler if you need something. But for now, we'll need you to hang around for a bit. Till we can decide what to do with you. That's... yeah, doesn't. Hey, Dezel, there's something I wanted to ask you. <laughs> Funny you should say that. I'd like to ask you something, too. What's that ability you've got that envelops you in the power of the Seraphim? You mean the Armatus? It's called the Armatus, huh? So, that's it. You think I can get one as well? The Armatus is a fusion of the Shepherd and a Seraph acting in unison. It's the combination of both powers working in tandem. It isn't something that can be obtained. <laughs> that sounds like a real hassle. But I'll admit, it is strong. I don't get you. What is it you're after? Just weighing the situation, and seeing if it's connected to my personal agenda. There's one last thing I wanted to ask you. That girl, Rose. Do you think she could enact the power of the Armatus? It may be possible for her. She does seem to have the latent aptitude for it. Huh. But the way she is now, not a chance. She could have all the natural affinity in the world, but she denies the Seraphim. Whose fault is that? <laughs> Guess he's not willing to listen to us. I never did understand those wind seraphim. So, a seraph who desires the Armatus. Oh, where are you going? Well... I was thinking of going back to the battlefield. You must be joking! You want your resonance to get blocked off again? We can't just sit around twiddling our thumbs. I need to learn more, and I can't do it here. No and no, it's too dangerous. The Shepherd must do something about the Lord of Calamity. I'm the Shepherd, so I have to go. Isn't that true? No. Huh? Do not be impatient, Saray. I'm pretty sure we've told you what the result will be if you lose yourself. If the Shepherd allows malevolence to corrupt him, the world will be plunged into unimaginable chaos. That's right. Never forget that. There are some things we won't know until we try. That's true enough. But now's not the time to tempt fate. Very true. What you need most now is a chance to rest. Hey, how about this? Why don't we explore the deeper part of the ruins here? I'm legitimately curious as to what Maven was talking about. Did you say ruin exploring? A novel idea. Let's do just that, shall we? Well, she's on board. All right! The boys are back in town. Yes. <laughs> Someone's got his mojo back. Wasn't he supposed to be getting some rest? Rest from being a shepherd, anyway. Let's go check it out! So first, we gotta do something about this door.
clue how to open the darn thing. Fortunately, we didn't care much either. Any ideas? I'm not sure. We'll have to examine it first. Okay. What? Oh, nothing. Just seeing how the shepherd works his magic. Don't mind me. Okay. A ruin with a sealed off entrance. There must be a reason behind it. But it doesn't look like any ordinary seal. There's not even a keyhole. Fancy a wager? For old time's sake? Oh, you're on, sucker! I'll find a way to open it way before you do! Your track record against me thus far indicates otherwise. This is dumb. Here, I'll just smash it open. Don't you dare! This is a precious historical relic! Rose isn't taking her eyes off you. Man, she sure is weird. <laughs> uh, talking to you guys makes me paranoid she's gonna punch me again. <laughs> What's so funny? You too. She was screaming and you were panicking and then pow! <laughs> Revel in my pain, why don't you? Wonder what really is behind that door. Oh, you're interested in ruins too, Rose? As if. What I am interested in is you. Oh, really? Bingo! Whoa! Oh, took you long enough. I see. So that's what was interfering with the door's rotation, huh? <laughs> Looks like I win this time. For once.
right, let's do this. Oh, you're coming too? Yep, I'm in if you are. Rose, there may be beasts lurking inside that are so powerful, people will consider them monsters. I refer to these creatures as Hellions. Okay. Listen. Yeah, yeah, Hellions, blah, blah, something, something, powerful. I'm listening. I'm saying it'll be dangerous. And I'm saying if you're fine, I'm fine. You've seen what I can do. Come on. I was bored out of my gourd anyway. Hey! I'm going to. Keep her from causing you folks any trouble. But wait, Dezel! You can't purify the Hellions! <sighs> if it comes to it, we'll bail them out. Indeed. This is our first Ruin Expedition in some time. Let's enjoy it! Some vacation this is. I'm not sensing much malevolence. All the better. This ought to be a fine adventure. What's this? Some kind of lever? Rose, wait! You can't just go around touching everything you... It's no good. There's not even a keyhole. Whoops. Don't you whoops me! Well, at least I got this working, right? It was a dead end otherwise. <sighs> She's got your number. Huh? I can't move it back. Well, what do I do now? Uh, the other door opened up. I'll go take a look. Stay right there. Where else would I go? <laughs> How cool your jets. Ah, oh, great.
were just waiting for me to pick you up, weren't you? can't do anything from in here. We'll just have to trust her. Saray, why don't you invite Rose to join our group? Huh? Where'd this come from? I actually agree. She'd be a good partner for you. You two? Remember what Gramps used to say? A true comrade has different sight, but the same vision. A true comrade? Why not? Plus, Rose's level of resonance is about on par with yours. With Alicia, you both suffered the cost of making her your squire, but this time I think it would be different. Besides, it should be obvious by now that you being the only human can cause problems. Maybe. But I can't involve other people in the Shepherd's duty. So that's what you're worried about, huh? Saray, have your travels thus far brought you nothing but suffering? Well, no, it's had its share of good times as well. Is the Shepherd's destiny tremendous enough to overpower the dream we share? Probably not. You do know what we're getting at, right? Yeah. Not every burden is mine to shoulder. The responsibility you feel is definitely a good thing. But at the same time, you must walk the path in life that is meant for you. Try to walk everyone's path and your legs will tangle up. So you're saying I've got to figure out my own way of doing things. But that's all the more reason to have friends to support you, right? True. Though it'll be up to her in the end. Before anything, we'll need to sit down with her and get her to understand us. That'll go over well. For now, there's nothing we can do but wait till she gets back. I can't believe we're just hanging around like this. But you can look around and imagine ages long past. That's the thrill of ruin exploring. I wouldn't know. I hardly ever get trapped like this. I believe I recall rescuing you from a trap or two. Two, maybe. Psst. But still, there's something strange about this ruin. Sealed off areas, doors with little windows next to them and devices inside the room that can be operated from the outside. Oh, an, an experimenting, experimenting room! room. <laughs> ah. <laughs> if this place was for experiments, then it probably doesn't open from this side. We'll have to leave it to Rose. But we could try to investigate the nature of the experiments, at least. We don't even know if we can get out of here. It must be nice to live in Saray world. Whatever. I do hope she's all right. We just have to trust her and keep waiting. Huh? What was that? Whoa! Hellion! Get ready for battle! Are you ready? Ty, don't tell me Rose is flipping more switches! She's got a nose for trouble, that's for sure. Let's give it up! Sword ring! Darn, did that not work? Wait, what the hell are you doing? Hellions! You mean those dust clouds? I don't get what you're saying. Forget it! Just try a different one! Fine, fine. It won't end here! Burning fire! All these hellions are very impressive! Burning fire! Burning fire! 
Actually, pretty decent. Must have been, if you're complimenting me. <sighs> that was unexpected. I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. Miracle of miracles, we agree on something. <laughs> It'll be fine, I think. She's late. I should have gone with her. <laughs> did you hear something just now? I sure did. Smoke! Yep, that sucks. Hey! This is serious! Not for me. Smoke's only a problem for humans like you. Have fun. What? Edna, this isn't the time for joking around. Let's just stay composed, everyone. Fine. Saray! Are you okay? Rose, don't get close! I'm fine here, just look for some other way! I'm sorry, I really do feel bad about this. I'm fine, I said. to hurry. You sure are magnanimous. <laughs> Same as he ever was. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice messing with things at random until something works. I'm really, really sorry. I'll try and find another one. <sighs> I guess that fixed it. Yeah. You almost look excited. Yeah, I hadn't realized, but it's been a while since I've had this much fun. Good. That is a feeling you should cultivate. It opened! I can sense... a domain? There's a presence of considerable power here. And this much malevolence, it can only be a Hellion. Yeah! Rose? Hurry! I don't know what's going on! No! A dragon newt? Is it dangerous? It's a young type of dragon. So dangerous is what you mean. Stop it! Stop it! Look who's gonna crack. Let's do this! Hey! Hellion! I'm over here! Saray? Shepard. If it's too much to handle, run! Right. We just need to buy enough time for those two to escape. Run back! Multiple cracks! Blade bag! Dragon bag! Ready? No escape! I'm not sure we have the proper elements to face this one. Do we die here? Let's not die here. I know, but... <sighs> Rose, what are you doing? I told you to get out of here! I know, I know! But it's all my fault that things ended up like this! I told you to forget about it! Uh, 
Saray. See if you can manage without me for a little bit. Huh? Rose. Huh? So you can hear me now. I'm impressed. <laughs> Rose, it's okay to be scared. Just hang in there and listen to me. <laughs> Saray's like that too. We grew up together, but he still tenses up a little when he sees me. We Seraphim are indeed Saray's friends. And yet, we cannot say for sure if Saray sees and hears the same things we do. Because he's the only human out of all of you? Yes. Saray has no human compatriots who can truly understand the burden he bears as the Shepherd. You want... me... to join him? It's ultimately your call. Hey, what's your name? Miklio! Come here! Coming. Miklio! Fine, how do you do if there ever was one? All right, damn it! I'll prove to you I can do this! Saray, Miklio, and... Uh... What? What's wrong with you? I... I... I'm joining the fight! It looks like she's made up her mind. And she did it all herself, too. Lila, I'll buy us some time. You get the Squire's pack going. But Saray, you have to give her a true name first. Wilkis Wilk! Huh? That's the true name I'm giving to Rose. Uh, all right. Don't charge in like that. Hold out just a bit longer. I know. I'm just buying time. Blue Flurry! Blue Flurry! Ocean Flash! Break on through! Blue Flurry! Blue Flurry! Break down! Open the way forward! Saint Zero! Saint Zero! Here it goes! Weak! Blue Flurry! Blistering Fangs! May your knowledge cease for you! Strike! Mark Blade! Uh, what's wrong? Dezo is becoming Lila's sublord? What? Ocean Flash! We're here! You made it! I feel like I can take on the world! Alright, then let's show this dragon out. I've had enough of this, Shepard. I'm done playing around. Now you're going to bring my armadas to life. Dazzle, why are you... When this is all over, we're gonna have a talk. <laughs> it's over! Lord of Wings! This is the armadas. Rose, if a Hellion has scales, does that make it a scalion? Wait, what? Dog Seraph? Good work out there. Uh, uh. Rose? Uh, uh. Rose! Hey, pull yourself together. Did you think it was Rose? It's me. What? Leave her alone, you maniac. You're quite attached to her, I see. 
What are you after? Oh, nothing really. Just making sure it was clear to everyone why you wanted to become a sublord. Shepard, allow me to explain. I understand, Dezel. Listen. It seems there's some sort of agenda you want to accomplish with the Armatus, Dezel. That's right. And I'm using you to that end. Deal with it. What is it you want, then? Revenge. Against the Hellion who killed my friend. Tarnished the name of the Windriders. Branded them as criminals. And forced them to live out the rest of their lives in secrecy as an Assassin's Guild. Oh yeah? Well, in that case, you're more than welcome. We love quelling Hellions. <laughs> you mean saving them, in other words. Does that sound like revenge to you? You're out to kill them? <laughs> Lila, how could you invite someone like him to be your sublord? Because of how he is. Dezo is consumed with vengeance, and yet he has not become a Hellion. Because he has a vessel that cannot be corrupted. Rose, I get it. So if Rose were to accompany us by herself, then Dezel would lose his pure vessel, and before long, his lust for revenge would turn him into a Hellion. Don't make me laugh. I'd sooner die than become the same corrupted being as the one who wronged me. You folks forced my hand. But something tells me that you're not too bent out of shape over it. <laughs> I won't deny it. It did give me a sense of the true power of the Armatus, after all. I understand your reasons now. But if you're going with us, you can't be acting like a lone wolf. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll work with you. I'm a crummy Seraph, but I'm still a Seraph. I've got no reason to oppose what the Shepherd does. True. Well, I guess that's true. But nevertheless, keep what I told you a secret from Rose. She believes that she's come as far as she has with her own ability, without anyone's help. I don't want her to be troubled by the knowledge of what I've been doing behind her back, or the reasons why I did it. Dazzle. Well, that's that. Now we're all best buds, right? Don't toy with her. Make sure she's all right. She's fine. She just passed out from shock. I think you tossing her on the floor like that is what did it. <sighs> why don't we plan on resting here for a while until Rose wakes up? It looks like the other Seraph still hasn't regained consciousness. Yeah. Are you concerned about Dezel? Well, kind of. If his aim is to kill Hellions, I want to stop him somehow. If it does come to that, the Prime Lord has the authority to restrain a Sublord if he decides to act up. You can do that? Yes, but ideally I'd rather not have to. Though there is a hierarchy between the Prime Lord and Sublord, I'd rather we be friends. Hmm. If Dezel travels along with you, Saray, I'm certain that he'll find some other reason for living besides revenge. He is a Seraph too, after all. We're becoming quite the family here. Yeah, Rose and Dezel are actually pretty cool. Well, I don't know about Rose, but if Dezel heard that, I'm quite sure he would object. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Exploring these ruins like this gave me some perspective again. I'd gotten too worked up. Thank you, Miklio. You helped yourself. Don't thank me. Let me tell you something. What? That girl, Rose, she conducts way too much power. I was able to enact the Armatus and control her body even when she was completely zonked out. What do you mean? She's far too used to the power of the Seraphim. It's probably because Dezel's been secretly interfering from the sidelines for so long. 
He must have manipulated her on multiple occasions while she was asleep or unconscious. If that weren't the case, there'd be no real explanation for why such power flows through her. So Dezel used Rose to his own ends time and time again? Just to get his revenge? And just as he was hoping, Rose had the ability to enact the Armatus. If she loses consciousness, she can be manipulated freely. He's crafted the ideal vessel out of her. Keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, what? No, well, I, I mean, uh, not really. Just... Just what? I, uh... I kinda like having you and Rose around. What? What the hell are you getting at? I mean, I used to think we were the only group of humans and Seraphim who traveled together. It used to be quite a common affair. Even if people couldn't see us, couldn't hear our voices, they could feel us by their side. Together we laughed. Together we cried. Weren't all of the scattered bones like that? Exactly. And so that's why... Hey. Know this. We may be working together, but if you get in the way of what I need to do, there will be problems. Shepard or no. So you're finally awake. <laughs> Boy, howdy. You really helped me out there. My gratitude to the Shepherd, and of course my Seraph brethren. I'm Saray. This is Lila, Edna, Dezel, Miklio, and the one sleeping over there is... That dog is talking! Rose, you're awake. Yep. I am called Oish. Though I may not look it, I'm as much a Seraph as any of them. I'm getting a crash course, Mystic Secrets of the Seraphim! <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Rose. Looks like she's used to it. So, shall we return now that Rose has recovered and awakened? I don't know, she's having so much fun. No screaming and punching? Lame. We're wasting time. Let's head back. Hmm. Hold up! We haven't found anything yet, and there's more ruin left to explore. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Yep! Keep, Keep going! going. <laughs> We're not done with our little expedition yet. <laughs> no vacation from this vacation. Then let us proceed further in. Saray, are you ready? Thanks, everyone. All right, Oish. We're going to look around in the ruins a bit more. <laughs> you folks are a blast, I tell you. Be careful out there. See you later, Mystical Doggy. I wonder how the war turned out. Who knows? I remember the Roland's army falling apart. Immediately afterwards, Highland also lost their general and retreated. I'd say it was a draw. You were there too? I like to watch. I see. So my actions directly affected the course of battle. It's like what Lila said before. Would Alicia and Lucas be alright? Lucas would probably be okay. But as for Alicia... We'll just have to trust Highland. I guess so. In any case, we did what we needed to do. That's right! Come to think of it, you guys split up with Princess Alicia, right? Yeah, in Marland. Alicia has her own dreams to pursue, too. So what, does that make me a replacement? What? what? No! No! <laughs> Sorry to ask that way. Don't worry about it. I decided to join you guys of my own volition. But don't expect me to fit into that princess role. We, we know, know that! that. Glad you understand and all, but that's a little rude of you, don't you think? That's a lot of dragons. 
Are these statues of the eight serpents? No, it can't be. The numbers don't match. But it does look like relics of dragonism. Taking the era into account, it might be logical to assume that the dragonist religion originates from that legend. I can understand the whole deity worship thing, I guess. But why the dragons? Beings of incomprehensible power. Symbols of awe-inspiring terror. Humans probably hoped that praise to such an entity would help them somehow. Oh, shoot. I've been all over, but I've never so much as seen a dragon's footprints. Oh, though I bet that thunder we heard at Rayfolk is enough to inspire dragon legends. That's because that one was real. <laughs> sure. You can go there and verify for yourself. You would probably die, though. What? We, uh... We met a dragon at Rayfolk. It was, uh... Edna's brother. Wait, isn't Edna a Seraph? Yep. A dragon is what you get when a Seraph accumulates too much malevolence. Uh, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. I agree with you that praying to a dragon is a stupid idea. This aroma. Help us, Dazzle! Oh, are you old? <laughs> the bigger the herd, the stronger they get. Leave them alone and let us call for more. Looks like victory all around! Shall we 
we go. Go! A bodyless Hellion again? Its physical attacks are weak. Let's finish them off. Let's get him! Sweet dreams! Let's get him! Oh, no Do not underestimate me. Shall we go? Yeah. A werewolf? Probably some guild member turned Hellion. It specializes in assassin techniques. Ready? Watch it. Prepare yourself! Shame for the assets! What's next? Come on, everyone! Victory is ours. Wait, that's... Huge snake bites you, it'll suck you dry. Suck! Wait, what? Let's come back to the top! We're going to go! We're going to go! your efforts! Gale Fang! Here goes! The power of purification! Spellcasters turned Hellions who couldn't die peacefully. Don't underestimate the use of seraphic arts, fools. What was that? It looked like a monster. It's the Earth in Historia. It records events from the past. Is this a record of wars throughout the world? And so that guy, Heldolf, he's using those wars as crucibles to breed more malevolence. He pits Hellions against each other in order to increase their strength and ferocity. Disgusting. His heart is surely sunk in the depths of darkness. That's the truth of the Lord of Calamity. 
I'll cut you Return off. Return to force! Yeah. Freaking trust it! Let's move it up! Not bad, not bad. I'll see you in! Security, come forth! That won't be fair, Let's get out! Eat this! I am going to eat this! this. Ready to jump? Sweet! Let's do some fortune time. Saray, look around you. There might be something nearby. Shall we go? Show me the There must be herbs around here. You were quite strong. Quite a fearsome fighting style.
It seems there's a treasure chest near us. Are we at the end? I think so. I wonder if she'll ever really get used to this. This mural seems to depict the trial that the one who is to be the shepherd must undertake. I did not expect to find such a thing here. Whoa, the shepherd's trial, huh? Is this blotch here supposed to represent the continent of Glenwood? Then this insignia thingy marks where the shepherd is supposed to go. Is that right? Lila, is that the case? Tonight's dinner, Mabo Curry! Don't mind her. She gets a little random sometimes when things come up that she can't talk about because of her oath. Oath? Like a diet? <laughs> so there are four places with that mark. One in the north part of Lake Haven Heights. Two in the southern end of the middle of the continent. And the last one is in the direction of Western Bolt Gorge. Well, if they call it a trial, that means something good happens if you finish it, right? Like, maybe you get some awesome equipment or sweet power-ups! Yeah. Hey, maybe I'll get the strength to overcome any kind of domain. We just might have hope against Heldolf, after all. Uh, guys? English, please? What's a domain? What's a Held Elf? Well, it's, uh... Know what? Forget it. We'll talk about it over a meal. We got what we came for, right? Yeah. Looks like our expedition has come to an end. Cool, let's go! I just got bored all the way back into my gourd. Didn't know you could do that. For real? Looks like it. No comment. <laughs> What's that? Is that a monolith? You probably wouldn't have been so scared of Seraphim or Hellions if you could see them from the beginning. That's probably true. If you can see them in the first place, at least you know they're there with you. If you can't see people, and then suddenly you can, it means that there were people there the whole time when you thought there wasn't anyone at all. Doesn't that give you the creeps? I sort of get it, but not really. I think Mikleo and the others have their work cut out for them. Who's back? Did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, but... Earth in Historia this, Shepherd Trial that... It's turning into one big mess. Hmm... I'm not sure where to start. Well, think about it. The locations are all over the world. Plan it so we don't waste travel time. All right. Then how's Pendrago sound? I'm sure you've grabbed the attention of the bigwigs in the Roland's Empire by now. You might want to go explain that Highland only got you to fight for them by force. Oh, good idea. That would likely make our operations inside the Roland's Empire much easier. An approach only the humans could take. <laughs> Looks like you're all on the same page. That's right. Are you going to stay back here, Oish? I'd sure like to. I'm still kind of attached to the place, but I probably don't dare stay here by myself. Is something wrong? There needs to be someone to worship the Seraph. Like at a shrine or a church. Or else he could be tainted by malevolence and become a Hellion again. Then we'll find someone and bring them here to cover it. Sound good? You sure? I thought this was your hideout. <laughs> whatever. Just leave it to me, okay? You're the best. I should be sitting pretty for the time being, thanks to all you folks. Just bring someone here whenever you can. 
I'll give you blessings out the wazoo. <laughs> well, I'll see you around, Oish. <laughs> Come back soon.